Hello, I'm Kelly Bearwalt and this is Matt Shanks and we're fish biologists for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And today we are tagging fish for our small fish telemetry project. Uh, we are tagging non-Asian carp species to release above and below the aquatic nuisance species barrier. Uh, specifically 2B is the active barrier right now. And so we are, um, we are doing this in response to some lab research that we conducted down at our uh, Urtic labs in Vicksburg, Mississippi that indicate the current operating parameters of barrier 2B may not be 100% effective against fish under five and a half inches. Okay. So we're about to tag a fish here. Uh, we have a ultrasonic transmitter. Uh, as, you, as you can see, it's pretty small. And this is about a 100 day battery life. So when we release the fish, we'll be able to see its response behavior for about a little over three months. What we've done is we've anesthetized a green sunfish and we'll go ahead and get a quick length. It's 109 millimeters. And Matt here will keep water going over the, the gills of the fish during the procedure. We'll first start by just removing some scales. Go ahead and make an incision. And we'll go ahead and insert the tag. And now we'll go ahead and close the wound with one suture here. So Matt's going to dry it and then we're just going to apply the last step which is super glue. And that's used to both hold the knot in place for the suture and also keep that la top layer of skin closed to help the wound heal. All right, and we finished tagging the fish. And what we'll do is we'll put them back into the recovery tank here. We're using dissolved oxygen. Oh, great, it's recovering well. So what we'll do is we'll wait a couple hours and uh, we'll let the fish acclimate. And as you can see, we've got some other some other patients in there that are responding well. And we'll release them later this afternoon above the barrier.